Well, hey guys, today I'm going to add a couple of devices to my Simply Safe. Uh, it is for sensing water. They've got the coolest little devices that you can put down. So I'm going to add these two sensors, and that way we'll never be surprised again with water flooding the basement. We'll know about it immediately. So, anyway, guys, let's get busy. I'll show you how to do this step by step. It's real easy. Guys, one of the things I really love working about Simply Safe is this device comes off the wall, and it uh, it just makes it easy where you can set it right here and work on it. Uh, this obviously is communicates with the base station, which I have. It's around the corner uh, in my house, and so it's just so nice to be able to bring it here and get started. So <clears throat> anyway, this was what the water sensor looks like. It already comes with the battery in it. You just twist and lift, and there's your battery. Uh, it's the 2032, which is the most common battery of uh, this type that you use, so they're easy to get uh, when they need to be replaced. And so, anyway, you, if I can get this line back up right, there we go, and then you just twist it and lock it. So this is one, let me show you, comes in this box container. Uh, the battery's already in it, which I'm surprised, usually they don't have them connected already uh, but no big deal like I said if you ever have to replace them you can so anyway um, this just pops up like this so as I said I am getting one to go near my water heater I'm yeah one near my water heater and one near my heat pump where which is the one that'll be with the sump pump so I've got these two set up so now we want to get these registered this is the, this is so easy so you just go to menu and I'm going to pull away just for a second to put in my code so we get into this alrighty I'll bring it back so you can see alright so we want to go up to devices and then we want to open them now we want to add a device so we were set at the right place so we just move over to the right and now uh, we're not putting in a lock so we're going to go down one for other devices and we hit add and now it's telling you to follow all the instructions on doing it with the mobile app and everything and you just hit OK and now it's pushing and find, working to find a device so now in order to identify it we're going to push one of the buttons so this one and see it come up and it says water sensor and now it's found it and it's added it to the list and so now it's wanting me to know which one so in this particular case I'm gonna put this sensor over near the water heater so that's what I'm gonna call it I'm gonna hit set water sensor. and now that's named and then I'm gonna put WH on top for water heater alright so now I know this is the one that needs to go there all right, so now we're going to add one more, and let's see here. All righty, so now we're going to push. It's asking me to push the button again. If you guys can see that, and so now I'm going to push, and I've identified this one. All righty, and so this time we're going to look and see what else we got, and I'm going to go with the one sump pump and this is the one that's going to be the pump that pumps out the condensation water so you just hit set water it's water now it's set and named and so now I, I don't need to do any more so over here I'm gonna hit done and done installing we hit next and finishing up we hit next and done and done now we are back to and that is as easy as it is hang on a second guys and i'll show you where we're located okay guys sorry for the bad lighting but i'm down in the corner of my basement now this is my pressure tank and my hot water heater i have had issues in the past to where we've had some of this start leaking so i'm just going to lay this on the floor and have it right in between the two and so uh, if we develop any leaks this area will start puddling up before it works its way over to the wood and to my walls in my basement but as you can see this is an area it's back in a corner and it's an area that's never traveled so the only time that we've known we had a water leak in the past uh, is when the water flows out I'll tell you another issue that we had is right up here I, this uh, pipe runs to an outside speaker and that speaker froze and uh, when I turned it on, it was blown in, uh, out from the backside. 
and it was flooding on down this wall. So anyway, this is going to be fantastic to now not get taken by surprise. So hang on guys and I'll show you where the other one's going to yeah, go. This is my uh, basement air handler unit and of course the condensation water comes out of the side on the bottom of the drain pan that's inside here and then the water runs down and it goes into this uh, sump pump. Uh, this right here, uh, anybody dealing with condensation water knows that it has a sliminess to it and over time this white mucousy stuff, I hate to be gross but that's just what it is, it'll get in here and eventually uh, clog it up. Now you know if you guys are not already doing it once a year especially during late summer you should come in and turn everything off take out this and go blow it out you know with a water hose take this out and go clean it and put a little bit of Clorox in it Clorox will dissolve that that gook or whatever you want to call it but anyway if you don't get this done in time and this fails the water starts overflowing out of the pan and then it'll flood this area okay guys one last thing I'm gonna tell you how to do it but I'm not gonna do it and, and I'll explain why once you get everything set in place you can go into this and go into test mode and you can actually check and make sure all your devices in your house are working what I did is enter test mode uh, with my wife helping me I went downstairs and I hit each button and it comes up and it'll say uh, water sensor sump pump water sensor water heater and so it lets you know that in the location it's at it's working just fine so anyway also be aware that if you are a monitored system meaning you're working with simply safe and they're monitoring you online uh, you will get a phone call that they have sensed you're in test mode and you just tell them you're done they, that they don't need to do anything for you well guys that's pretty much it simply safe really makes it easy to follow through their their format is very user friendly as you guys can see adding the, all the devices any device you want to add it's pretty straightforward just like that one is so I hope you guys enjoyed that I hope you found it informative if you will please be sure and hit the like share and subscribe and just remember here at project next guys there's always one more so there'll be more videos coming Really appreciate you guys watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. See you soon.